Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So we are going to break apart 96 into numbers that are easily divisible by six, okay? So 96, if I did six times six, that would give me 36, okay? 96 minus 36 leaves me with 60, okay? Well, 6 times 10 is 60, okay? So now I have 6 times 6 plus 10 is 16 equals 96, okay? I know it's a little confusing. We're going to do another one. Don't worry, okay? So if I did... 85, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to fill in up here for this one. So that's going to be 16, okay? So 85, I'm going to take away 50 of that first. So I'm going to do 5 times 10, okay? So if I take away 50, I'm left with 35. Well, 5 times 7 is 35, okay? So now if I do 5 times 10 plus 7 is 17, that equals 85, okay? So my answer up here is 17, okay? We're going to do one more, okay? All we're doing is breaking apart this number in easily divisible numbers, okay? <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so 6 is again, okay? Well, so I know that 6 times 9 is 54. If I take 54 away from 84, then I'm left with 30. So I know that 6 times 5 is 30. Okay? So I'm looking for numbers that can divide by 6 that end in a 4. I could have done 6 times 4, which would have left me with 24. And then when I take away 24 from 84, I'm left with 60, and then I would have 6 times 10. You're going to get the same answer, okay? So now, 6 times 9 plus 5 is 14. So your answer up here is 14. Okay? I'm going to do one more, okay? So I'm going to break up 7s. I'm going to go down my multiples of 7, and I'm going to find one that ends in an 8, okay? So the first one that I know of is 28. So I'm going to do 7 times 4 because I know that that's 28, okay? So if I take 28 away from 168, I'm left with 140, okay? Now, I don't know how many times 7 goes into 140 off the top of my head, but I know that 7 goes into 14, which is the front half of 140, two times, and then there's a 0 on the end. Okay, so now 7 times 4 plus 20 is 24 equals 168. So your answer up here will be 24. Okay? I know this is tough, guys, okay? So, all right, so I'm gonna go down my fours until I find one that ends in four. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do four times one, which is four, and then I'm left with 100. If I take away four from 104, I'm left with 100. Well, I know that, <coughs> Four quarters in my hand is a hundred cents, so four times twenty-five, because that's four quarters, and that's a hundred, okay? So, down here, four times twenty-five plus one is twenty-six equals one o four. Then, my number up here is twenty-six, okay? You guys try and do 7 through 9. I've done a whole bunch for you. Go back and look at them if you need to, okay? We're going to go down to number 10. It says, Ken is making gift bags for a party. He has 64 colored pens. He wants to put the same number in each bag. How many bags will Ken make if he puts four pens in each bag, okay? So they want us to break these up again just like we were with the other one, okay? 
So I know that 4 times 6 is 24, which ends in a 4. That's nice, okay? So I'm going to say 4 times 6 plus, if I take 24 away from 64, I'm left with 40. So that's 4 times 10, okay? So now that all equals 64, but 6 plus 10 is what I need. So 6 plus 10, 16 bags. Okay, I know that every one of you parents is going, do it this way. And while I might agree, we have to do it this way because that's what our assignment is. Okay, so don't do it this way on this one. Okay, all right. Maritza is buying wheels for her skateboard shop. She ordered a total of 92 wheels. If the wheels come in packages of four, how many packages will she receive? So I'm going to say four times 10 is 40. If I take 40 away from 92, I'm left with 52. And again, I don't know how many times 4 goes into 52, but I know that 4 times 8 is 32. So if I take 32 away from 52, then I'm only left with 20. And then I know that 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, so 4 times 10, I'm going to start with 92. 4 times 10 is 40, so when I take away, I get 52 left. Okay, now 4 times 8 is 32, so if I take 32 away, I'm left with 20. If I do 4 times 5, it takes away that 20. Okay, I'm left with 0. Okay, so 10 plus 8 is 18, plus 5 is 23, 23 packages. Okay, we're adding up the number that is not what we are dividing by. So 10, 8, and 5, total of 23. Okay, we are going to go over onto the back where we are going to do the lesson check. Or sorry, you are going to do the lesson check, just like always. We're going to go ahead and do the spiral review. It says write an expression that can be using the distributive property that can be used to find the quotient of 36... Nope, that's the lesson check. I'm not doing that. Sorry about that. Spiral review. Allison separates 23 stickers into four equal piles. How many stickers will she have left over? Okay, so 23 divided by 4. Okay, so 4 goes into 20 five times. I'm going to put a placeholder X over the 2 because 4 doesn't go into 2. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. I have 3 left over. 3 stickers is what she will have left over. A remainder is what they were looking for. Okay? All right. A website had 2,135,789 hits. What is the value of the digit 3? So I'm going to rewrite my numbers here. I'm going to underline my 3. I'm going to drop it down. Every number afterwards becomes a zero, so I have four zeros. That leaves me with 30,000. Okay, the area of Arizona is 114,006 square miles. What is the expanded form of this number? Well, I have a one in the 100,000th place, so one times 100,000 plus a one in the 10,000th place, so one times 10,000 plus a 4 in the thousands place, so 4 times 1,000 plus, I don't have any value for those two zeros, I don't have to do anything with them, but plus 6 is in the ones place, okay? All right, what is the value of the fourth power of 10, okay? So that is 10 to the fourth, okay? So that means 10 times 10 times 10 